What you got going there, Randy? Um, just give me a sec. Okay, I'm, uh, what we've done is we've shored up the floor on the inside. We've added some extra studs to uh, make things a little uh, better. And now what we're doing is we've put a 2x4 on the other side of this and I'll run it along the back. And it's uh, 7 feet across. Now all we're doing is um, you've got the skin on the outside, which essentially is supposed to attach to your frame, and part of the frame is now um, this new flooring that we put in. So I'm attaching it to the flooring, so going down the highway we don't lose the skin on the outside of the trailer. Um, so yeah, we cut out the floor, and Amanda, I guess if you want to go around and show them the big hole that we have in the floor right now. I will. I'm walking around the trailer. Walking around the trailer. Watching my step. <coughs> yeah, into the trailer, and it's missing a good big chunk of floor. But you can see why we cut that out. You can see down there where some of the rot was. But cut that right out. And we've put in, oh my, sorry about my thumb. We've put in these two by fours here. Um, they're running along beside some old two by fours, which for some reason stopped right there instead of going right to the end. So we've shored them up with Sistered some them. more. Sistered them. Thank you. Over here, this is the metal frame, metal of, the frame of the trailer. So um, that's the real strength of the trailer, but there's uh, two by four wood there helping the frame support the floor. So Hello, handsome. <laughs> uh, still lots of work to do. Uh, on the other side, you saw me screwing in the, um, the, the, the skin. So now, I mean, okay. <laughs> so now uh, we use some long screws. So they actually went through the 2x3, which we ran across the, um, the back. Sorry, it was a two, I said 2x4, I meant 2x3. Um, so some of the screws that we were using to batten down the skin is um, are coming through. So when we put the floor in, that's going to be that's, they're going to be in the way. So what I'm going to have to do is take my grinder, grind the tips off. Um, I needed something longer to make sure that that is secured very well. Um, we didn't have anything shorter, so I'm we had we had too short or too long, so we went <laughs> with too long because we can grind, grind it off. off a little. <laughs> yeah. So other than that, I mean, now, uh, I mean, this is just one side. Now we can actually lay the floor. Um, and uh, <clears throat> I said that I was going to take some aluminum and put it on here. I've changed my mind. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to lay my floor. And then from the underside, I'm going to spray coat it um, with a protectant seal uh, from the underside. And I think that will not only help with uh, rust, but it will help... Uh, of course, keep the water from coming up from underneath as well. Um, and then along any seals, I'll be caulking everything. So there, if you look at the corner over there, you'll see there's a big, you can see light coming in from the corner. No, over there. Right there, yeah. You see the light coming in, the bottom there? Yeah. Well, that there is where the seal is between the side skin and the roof skin, which goes from the back all the way to the front. Um, that there, we will have to take there is a um, molding that goes all the way around the outside edge starting from the bottom goes all the way around to the top and circles all the way around underneath and meets in the middle underneath um, we're going to end up taking that off and doing some new molding on the outside you can't see it from in here but yeah that gap we have to bring that gap in so using that molding is how we're going to do that so I have to bend some metal and um, do that either yeah probably I'll have to go bend some metal <laughs> all right that's pretty well what all I have right. to do <laughs> I don't have a choice all right we're gonna clean up for the day because we have 
a function to attend tonight. So, from work clothes to formal wear. <laughs> Gotta get uh, all cleaned up now. Paint my nails. Randy can shave his face. Yeah, take a shower. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, so we gotta start cleaning up. <laughs> not camp ready yet. But it's coming. It's yeah. like we took a little bit of time off because we were sick and had an eye infection yeah. and all those other nasties. This the other side. Not, not pulled up yet, the floor over there. But we have to do one side before we can do the other. Yep. 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 There's the outdoors. You can see down there. Yeah. I don't think this end was quite as rotted as the other end. But we'll see. When we start pulling up floor, we'll know. I don't think this no. end I'm going to pull up as much floor. No. Might not no. be necessary. I'm going to find where... Oh, no wonder my leg hurts. Why? <laughs> Splinter. I'm <laughs> like, why does my leg hurt? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I'd like some advice from you guys. This is that uh, kind of like fiber wire stuff. Um, it looks like it has like a paper-like insulation. Uh, should I keep this or should I change it up? Because obviously changing it up is going to be more work. I, I have we the can wire. Do it. I have the wire to do it'll it. It'll just be extra work. It would be extra work, but it would then be plastic coated wire. It's no different than what's up here already. It's just plastic coated um, like your the, the what the current codes are now. This here isn't really something that people use, use anymore. This is 1970s. 1970s. <laughs> yeah. um, anyone who has experience doing wiring and knows about this wire, should I keep it or should I change it up? Um, if I need to change it up, I need to know now. <laughs> All right, let's get this posted. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. See you later. Bye.